Did you ever wonder? Thanks for visiting our sawmill. At the end of the video, because I did screw it up and not film that last log, I'm gonna show you something on your sawmill that I would bet you didn't know was on there if you own a wood miser. I like to call it the forcing function frequency dampener or the harmonic node squasher. Hey folks, welcome back to Hobby Hardwood Sawmill in North Alabama. Today we have a rainbow poplar log or mineralized poplar log. Sometimes in this area and other areas of the country it'll grow over a mineral deposit or some other soil formation that will cause the colors in the soil to run up through the tree. So one of our better sellers is of rainbow poplar is to the turkey call market. Uh, one of our turkey call makers comes from 12 and a half hours away. You could take everything I know about turkey calling and put it on a uh, hen turkey's pecker. Some of these world champions, uh, we have two that shops here, that shop here, two world champions. Uh, one's a five-time world champion. The other one's, I think, a one-time world championship. It may be more. I don't know. So when the one guy showed up, I said, man, if, if you win a turkey call championship, you need to tell everybody where you bought the wood. He went, no. He said, that ain't going to happen. I went, well, there goes your discount. <laughs> so, so basically, um, they keep where they get their turkey call material under wraps from each other. I mean, it is a competition, so they try to keep that stuff secret. The story is that couple to three years ago, I guess, um, a bunch of the turkey callers, I think were in Las Vegas. Again, don't quote me on that. These turkey call people, they don't really give you a lot of the details, but for a turkey call championship. And everything went, went fine. And I guess one of them won, maybe another, I don't know. I don't know who won. But either way, after it was all over with, they were all having dinner at the Las Vegas version of Denny's. I mean, I guess if y'all remember those scenes out of Las Vegas Vacation with Chevy Chase, um, that's what I always have in my mind. They're all sitting up there to the pig bar. They're all porking out on, you know, spaghetti and roast beef, and they're having a good old time, maybe a few beers passing along the way at the Las Vegas Casino. And they pull out their phones during dinner, and they start bragging on they've got wood that nobody else can get and that's why they're winning and their wood's special and this and that now pull out their phones this is what i heard and they're passing their phones around looking at the photos and before long the people at the table realized that all the wood they were showing had martha's handwriting on it and they realized real quick that a large portion of the professional turkey call competitors were getting their wood from us I think that was pretty funny. So uh, we're going to try to saw this thing up and get as much color as we possibly can out of it. As far as turkey call makers are concerned, they don't want a lot of white wood. So I'm either going to take it off as side wood or I'm going to slab it pretty deep. Uh, I'm going for the gold. Martha's going by on a forklift with a big load of wood. She's working. I'm making videos. I like this YouTube gig. The reality is that this is not my only rainbow poplar log. So if I strike out on this one, I got a whole pile of them over there. And if I can't, uh, I'll punt and go to the next log. Well, you got to love it. I forgot to turn the damn camera back on. What are you going to do? He said, y'all missed me doing this. That's pretty. Oh, well. All right, y'all. I kind of left you hanging on that last one simply because uh, I forgot to turn the camera on. I got some pretty nice wood out of it. So what I'm going to do to make up for it is at the end of this video, I'm going to sop another log and I'm going to show you something on your sawmill that I would bet you didn't know was on there. I don't know if Woodmiser actually calls it anything, but I like to call it the 
forcing function frequency dampener or the harmonic node squasher. Let's go. Another really nice mineralized poplar. Oops, I can tell right off the bat my blade tension's down. Remember I said that one video, you always need to adjust your gauge so that whenever your band is correctly tensioned, no matter what you're using, the, blade, the, the needle is vertical. So I need to tension that up a little bit. Kind of flirting with disaster here because it's about to fall off, about halfway back off the backstop. It's okay. Cool. Got some cute alien growth right there. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. I can already tell. I mean, even Chip is interested in this one. I mean, he's watching like a hawk. He's, he's on it. Aren't you, boy? He says, dead gum right I am. This is going to be a good one. Let's go ahead and strip these slabs off the top and the bottom. See what we got. Sawmill is warmed up. Get a couple of big live edge slabs on this side. Get one on this side, get one on the other side. All right, the wind is blowing this sawdust right in my face. So in case y'all are wondering, I'm gonna go into pattern mode. That's the bottom one. I'm gonna go two and three eighths right there. Hit the down button. Gonna find it. There we go. Spot me a little bit. We're all better now. All right. Oh, there's the sound of that blade. I love it. Going fast. Love it. I also need to push this thing back a little bit. So you never really want to load your reverse back and forth motor up. Basically what you want to do is you want to pull it back, go just about to hit, and then you let your hands off, wave at the camera, and you're putting almost no pressure on the uh, on the saw head. Basically, you've got what could be called a collision. So I'm just going to take this and keep sawing it down. Always get the boards you can get if you can get them. So this is going to be a good one here, leaving me almost five inches thick. will make some good turkey calls. Look, I can stack wood with one hand. Uh-oh. She got the milk duds. And the Mexican. And she got the Mexican for me. And look at the chip over there. He's like, uh-oh, mama's home. So he finally woke up. Anyway, she's going to go there. I'm going to sign off and I'll see you up at the house. Come here, Chip. You know, he's watching. He's going to wait until she gets out of the car. He's off. Yeah, you know, I've been doing so many serious teaching sawmilling videos lately. I thought maybe it was just time to have some fun. Oh, that's right. I was going to show you something that you guys didn't probably didn't know was in your sawmill. You're going to say, no, I know everything about my sawmill. There's nothing in there that I don't know about. Well, let's see. Everybody knows you use your blade guide arm right here to keep your saw blade from bouncing up and down like a guitar string, right? Did you ever wonder why this part of the saw blade from this saw, from this band wheel to that band wheel doesn't just start bouncing up like crazy? Did you ever wonder? <laughs> You probably didn't, but if you did, credit to you because Woodmiser and maybe some of the other ones under the mills that I've owned, the 15s, the 40s, the 70s, right in the middle, 
you can see it right there. There's a little screw. Actually, here's the top right here. And if you look under here, the light's not real good. There you can see it right there. And what that does is that's spaced just a hair's breadth away from the band. So when the band starts to shake, the band hits that little guy and keeps it from resonating. On my LT15, I had a wooden block glued into it. On my chainsaw mill, uh, we didn't have anything. I mean, it was a chainsaw mill. I mean, don't wake up in the middle of the night and go, oh my God, I forgot to check, I forgot to check my blade resonance bolt. But when you get a chance, yeah, you ought to look at it and uh, see where it's at, if it's on there, see if it's too close, if it's too far, or whatever. And I don't know, another little hidden feature of your sawmill that I bet you didn't know. All right. That's all, folks. I hope y'all enjoyed this light-hearted video of turkey calls and resonance devices. And we will see y'all next week. Have a good one. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Click on the links above to see more of our videos.